Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hi Sagittarius. Today I am going to do December weekly love reading and this reading is from December 1st to 7th. This is general, may or may not resonate to everyone. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If you like my content, please do like the video guys. Then it will reach more people and thank you so much for supporting me. If anyone need a personal reading, I am giving my email ID in description box. You can reach out to me and readings are chargeable. Thank you so much. So first we will see the recent past and present regarding your love life. Sagittarius by Sun, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Under the deck, five of swords. So recent past six of cups, king of swords and page of cups. Definitely some reconciliation energy was in, rec was in recent past. You both, was, uh, you both were reconciled. There was a communication again. Uh, if you were in separation. If you were not in separation, definitely some heart to heart conversations in recent past. Uh, but still one person was troubled. Uh, one person was emotional but one person was logical and stubborn in your relationship and some of you are dealing with uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and some of you are dealing with uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Water Sign. Present 9 of Pentacles, 8 of Wands and 3 of Swords and 5 of Swords but present I'm seeing some issues between both of you guys. You both are uh, thinking about the past or discussing about the past. Uh, this communication is there, but it's not a smooth communication. You both are having differences. And one person is feeling hurt or you both are feeling hurt. Why? Because you both recreating the past, thinking about the past. And definitely devil energy, one person is trying to control the other person in this relationship. It could be either you or your person. Controlling issues involved here. And some of you are dealing with the uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Fire sign. So let's see your person current feelings and their true intentions towards you. Under the deck, high priestess. Definitely, your person is not uh, expressing their true feelings. They're hiding. They're not opening up with you, Sagittarius, the high priestess. And they are trying to listen to their intuition and trusting their inner voice here. And they are feeling emotionally or physically overburdened here. See, Jerth, Knight of Cups, and Two of Pentacles. Definitely, they want a new energy in this relationship. But right now, your person is going through some transformation uh, but knight of cups means they want to tell something to you but they are in very very slow moving energy and two of pentacles means they are juggling they are juggling uh, at the same time five of swords again your person is triggering by the past definitely they are thinking about the past because page of wands five of swords and queen of wands they have a lot of passion and uh, they really want to communicate with you, but they're thinking about the past here. I 
I want to clarify five of swords. See, Queen of Cups, they have strong emotions, but past is disturbing your course. But they have passion, they really want to communicate with you, but at the same time, they are juggling. So, let's see your current feelings. Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles and Eight of Cups under the deck, Strength card and Seven of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with strong Leo energy and some of you are dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, a lot of energies here. So you want commitment, you want stability, otherwise you want to walk away Sagittarius. In one line, definitely, because right now you are focusing on yourself, you want to be emotionally very, very strong. Uh, and some of you, maybe you already walked away for some. Uh, but you're still thinking about this person and waiting for their call or text. For some, it could be the case. Uh, for some, if you're not walk, walk away, uh, you are thinking about that. If they are not providing equal give and take, if they are not ready to offer stability, then you want to walk away. Here are two cases. One case is already walked away. So you're still thinking about that person. And uh, other cases you want, you are thinking about to walk away because the person is not giving any clarity, any stability. But you patiently, you patiently waiting here and you are guarded up. So let's see your person next step. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and Three of Pentacles under the deck, the lovers. Uh, some of you are dealing with Gemini A sign. So definitely your person is feeling stuck, but they are thinking about equal give and take. They're thinking about a new beginning. They're thinking about stability and commitment. So definitely they are going to take action. They are going to reach out to you soon, Sagittarius. Uh, so yes, for those who are waiting for commitment or stability, yes, your person is thinking about that very, very soon. They are going to reach out to you. But some communication blockage is here. So let's clarify eight of swords. I'm seeing third party situation for some. Strong third party involved here in the form of family, friends or other person. So let's see what is the near future outcome of this relationship and where this relationship is headed up. Eight of Pentacles, the Empress and the Knight of Wands. So you both will take this relationship very seriously. There will be passion, but at the same time, one person will be like very, very stubborn. It could be you or your person. So let's clarify the outcome here. High Priestess, Strength and King of Wands under the deck. Ten of Pentacles. See, there will be passion and definitely some stability will come. You both will be in a relationship. You both are destined to be together. But patience will be the key. And Ace of Cups, definitely new beginning. Yes, definitely new beginning here. I think you, when you decided to leave this person, then they are coming back here. Yeah. So let's see what are the messages for you regarding this relationship or situation. You have to come out of this energy. You need to focus only on present Sagittarius and Ten of Swords. You need to heal yourself and a new beginning. And Ten of Wands, if you are feeling emotionally overburdened, uh, you need to heal yourself. Healing is very, very important and balance your feelings and emotions. And in any area of your life, if right now you are seeking justice, yes, you will get justice. So this is the reading for you guys. Hope it resonates to you. Please do share, like and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Then you will get all my video notifications. If anyone need a personal reading, 
I am giving my email ID in description box. You can reach out to me and readings are chargeable. Thank you so much.